Never underestimate the gods or nature. The natural world possesses more power and destructive capability than anything manufactured by man. My dad would tell me this all the time as a little boy. He believed in the old gods and the monsters they spoke of. I never really thought about it, considering them as fairy tales told by my dad. But one day, I became a believer. Here is a story which changed my views on the subject. Most of us have an idea what a tsunami is. It is a very destructive force of nature. It destroys cities and lives and leaves everything in its path flattened and in waste. The first time I heard the term was when a tsunami hit Alaska. We were part of a news network so we were sent to investigate this massive wave that quickly was heading toward our shore. We were on a live on the scene team. We took the helicopter and made our way to the coast. The wave gained speed and size as it entered the coastline. We had to elevate higher over 2,000 feet just to safely watch the monster enter port. I flew and did commentary as the other man filmed the chaos below. Off my starboard side, something caught my eye. Now, if you of those that don't know the difference between port and starboard, starboard is on your right, port is on your left. It was a sight that made me question my very sanity. On the horizon, about 70 miles out to sea, it was enormous, stretching across the entire horizon. From one corner of my view to the other, its scales shined brightly in the sun's light. I couldn't say a word. I simply grabbed my ha companion's face and turned him to what I was looking at. His mouth dropped, as mine did too. And the only words he could mutter was what the hell. We watched it for a few minutes trying to figure out what exactly it was, although something did come to my mind, although my mind could not accept it at the time. When it dived, another massive wave came inland. That is when it occurred to me. This tsunami must be awake caused by that gigantic mass on the horizon that we saw. You see when a boat turns too quickly or when something enters the water heavy it can cause what some people consider a ripple or in some cases a wake. Now these wakes don't get very tall but then again the object isn't very quite as large as what we saw 
moments ago. My jaw still dropped as we heard a noise in the cockpit. The network station had radioed in and not very politely reminded us that we are still alive. The wave hit the shore with such force that everything was flattened or carried away. For seven miles, all you saw was wave after wave plummeting the shore. The massive, how can I describe it? This massive wave stretched at least two miles across the coastline. For seven miles, no, or was it twelve? Everything was destroyed. Nothing stood in its way. Trees were uprooted. Buildings crushed or carried away. Vehicles carried away. As well as screaming people caught in the current. All we saw below was black water covering everything. For almost two, 12 miles inland. I'm sorry, I, I still can't forget what I just saw. There was nothing that could be done until the waters ceased. Surprisingly, the death count was low. Considering the billions of dollars worth of damage done here. This was 1958. No one had even heard of that amount of money back then. You can only imagine the chaos that ensued. We returned to the station and were congratulated on an outstanding job. That's when me and my associate took the editor aside and told him everything that we saw. He didn't laugh. He looked at us with a stern, serious face, pat us both on the shoulders, and recommended we take a long time, a break to rest until we get our head back in the right mind. That was the last time we told that to anyone. Now I'm an old man and my associate has long left this life due to natural causes. So I feel it's time to let our secret out. As I sit here retired, a cup of coffee in my hand, my mind wonders as I sit in silence taking me back to whatever I saw on that horrible day. It has haunted my dreams and was a big reason that my wife left me. 
I don't think she can handle living with a crazy man. And I can't blame her for that. But I swear, every word I said is true. I can still see it out there when I look at the bay shining in the sunlight. In my dreams, it's out there as a massive waves come in and destroy everything we knew. See, after 40 years, it's still scares the crap out of me but I do realize what my father told me was true there are monsters out there colossal beings so gigantic that we can't imagine how big they really are so tell me if this was not the great monster known as your Mongod, the Midgard Serpent, then what do you think it was? Do you have any ideas? Look up in Norse mythology. See what I'm talking about. Because I've seen enough of that horrible sight haunting my dreams every single night welcome to the Shadowlands as usual I have links to savings from Amazon below and if you do enjoy this creepy pasta then do me a favor like subscribe click the bell overhead and don't forget to tell your friends and family it does help this little channel to grow and for that I thank you also thank you for watching a video and I hope you did enjoy it come back next week as we explore more things that go bump in the middle of the night things that hide on the edge of your sight and creatures that fill you with fright have a great night